Hello! Hello, AOS fans! It's the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We are indeed the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. today, or rather, I'm the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, yeah. You are the nasty criminals. <laughs> yes, we're playing Marvel Crisis Protocol again tonight. You probably already guessed that from the title. And we are continuing in our scroll campaign, although this time round, there are no scroll about. Scrolled to the bottom of the page. <laughs> Watch out, no scrolls about. <laughs> so this time around, the criminal syndicate, led by me and Kingpin here, have decided that with Similarity all... Similarity is uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> have, been... <laughs> have decided that they're going to start causing a little bit of havoc and mayhem whilst the scrolls have got most of the heroes' attention. And because those heroes are all tied up, maybe literally. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick Fury has had to come in with some, he's had to recruit some agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yep. Uh, to, to help out. But actually, he's actually got an interesting couple of opposing fighters, because I think Iron Man has been fighting on your side, and She-Hulk has been fighting on mine. Yeah. So I'm fully S.H.I.E.L.D. affiliated. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying out Nick Fury and his agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. grunts, and you're trying out Shadowlands Daredevil with Elektra and yep. her grunts. Yep, yep. She grunts a lot, that Elektra. Grunts. Heavy lifting, grunts one of you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Like a tennis player. <laughs> so we are all set up and ready to roll and yes. basically the criminal syndicate they've planted a bunch of well they've they set off a bunch of meteors basically that have landed in the city how do they do that? I don't know technology and, and science and right. somebody sat there for a while going like this on a keyboard and then they said I'm in <laughs> and then that, that's how it all happened so there are three meteors placed throughout the city and they started to mutate the civilians so people need to obviously stop that from happening and there are also Cosmic cube fragments. Cosmic cube fragments? Which have been scattered around from the uh, meteors that have landed. So okay. now the uh, criminal syndicate want them because obviously who doesn't want a cosmic cube fragment? And obviously the heroes don't want them to have them because no. they don't like sharing. This coffee guy here looks like he's going to get the coffee cube fragment any, any moment now. Any moment now. So we're all set up and ready to roll. So it's time for us to start round one. Yes. Before the beginning of round one, I needed to reveal one of my cards, which was Bounty Hunter, which is after a deployment is complete and allied Electra or Taskmaster may play this card. I mark an enemy character with the highest threat value, which in this case is going to be She-Hulk. Uh, and if the masked character is dazed or KO'd by the character that played this card, in this case, which is Electra, during its activation, the character playing this card immediately makes one action. I don't really rate my chances of being able to play that one, but I guess we'll see how I get on. Then move on to activations, and I move Sabretooth first. He moves long, he's very speedy, is Sabretooth. Wow. So I decide to jump and meow and scratch his way up there and jump on top of the building to try and secure the first meteorite fragment. Is that Pete with a Santa hat on there? It might be, tending to his flowers. So I have to make an energy defense here. Sabretooth has three dice, and I get crit. I do get a skull, skull however, yes. So I do take one wound, but he does get that back again immediately after activating. She-Hulk does much the same. She leaps up a tall building in a single bound Doing. onto a, another meteor fragment. And uh, she too, she has a four, four energy dice oh. to roll. So she rolls four and she smashed it. No skulls, three nice. successes. Nice. So uh, yes. So we're in control of one meteor fragment each. I then decide to activate Kingpin, who's not very fast, uh, and just start to plod him up the centre towards, because there is both a meteor fragment and a cube fragment there. He's quite scary though, he's not fast, but he's scary. I'm Whisk Up Taskmaster, uh, medium mover. You grab that cube fragment. Ah, yes, I did, and then moved on. Just hoped, hoped he not to be shot to pieces. I then activate Electra and just run her across the uh, heli uh, carrier and move over to that fragment there and decide to then grab that activate and interact with that one. I'd love to know how that ended up on top of the uh, oh, heli carrier. Yeah. And then me with, uh, oh, Black Widow, I can barely see her there, but she's running down the street super quick. And uh, it looks like we're getting ready for a punch up in the middle of the streets. Just making a beeline for the for all the action. Yeah. I then activate Shadowland Daredevil. Uh, he does a double move. I'm not just grossly cheating there. <laughs> There's two moves and then I pick up that cube fragments. That's another one for me. Meanwhile, Iron Man goes to get a coffee. Have a latte, And please. he's going to get another uh, cube fragment there, I think. And I think he then he's going to shoot with his repulsor blast at Kingpin. Poor old Kingpin. What's he ever done? Well, he's standing right there in the middle of the street. He's only orchestrated the biggest crime wave in, the, in New York City's history. Uh, yeah, maybe. 
Okay, it's a, it's a reasonable roll. It's three successes. Three successes. Uh, so Kingpin has three defense. I do get one crit and get to re-roll that crit. Yes, Another second. Another crit. So it's just the one damage. Just the one damage. Mrs. Robin was really. grateful it wasn't exploding crits. And you move out crossbones. Now you thought you made a mistake here. You think you tactically yes. didn't deploy very well. I think crossbones and Shadowland Daredevil should have been the other way round. Therefore, Shadowland Daredevil and Electra would have been near each other. Ah. Uh, and crossbones would have been able to get the cube fragment. Shadowland Daredevil was faster and would have been able to go and get into that centre position, I think. Okay. And do, do Shadowland and Electra have um, some synergy? If they're both near the hand ninjas, then they can both capitalise off of them with some of their abilities. Right. So if they all stay near them, it's much better. So you should, you should have kept them together. Yep. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Isn't it great? So just out of shot, I moved up Nick Fury. You can see his base just at the top of the shot there. I moved him up from, from the rear guy, and he did a Fury special on Kingpin, which is a five dice attack. And it was three successes, which isn't bad. Two crits for rerolls. A couple of crits, but nothing on the crits. Again, Kingpin has his four dice save on this one because it's just a might attack rather than energy. I also get a crit, yeah. but no other successes. But I get a shield on this one, so just the one damage just again. Just one damage again, yeah, so pinging off Kingpin. So that's the end of round one. Round What's one? the score, Robin? It's two all. Ding, 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 ding. It's always pretty quick, the first round of yep. these games. Um, I'm usually I'm floundering around trying to work out what on earth I'm doing. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, so you've, I've got a meteor, you've got a meteor, we've all got a couple of... Uh, I just call it a day now, really. We've both say, got look, a couple of got people. Do not get... It's all going to kick off in the middle here, I feel, this next yeah, round. Uh, yeah, whoever's going to control this meteor is really going to... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, interesting is code for bloody and um, violent. <laughs> Round two, and I activate Kingpin first. He plods towards the centre there, and then I spend two of his energy to pick up both the cube fragment, and then also to contest the meteor, which I should have rolled for, but I didn't, because at the time we figured, well, you know what, there's nobody around for him to contest against, but I could have still rolled uh, no successes and failed, or I could have rolled a skull and taken a wound, so I really should have remembered that roll. I then decide to do his cane laser attack to hit both Taskmaster and Black Widow. Yeah, this is a beam attack, beam. which was a little bit of a surprise for me. So against Taskmaster, I managed to roll quite a chunky two swirlies and two crits. Oh, this could have been really nasty. And my two crits turn into nothing, nothing else. Be a horrible, horrible attack. And I managed to roll two defense, which is Woo. pretty good on three dice. Not bad, so you take two damage. I could count blanks, uh, but I didn't get any, so... Um, but uh, that's one of Taskmaster's abilities. And then I did my photographic reflexes. After an attack targeting this character is resolved, this character may use this superpower. It's two power. If the attack is within three, roll four dice, deal one damage to the attacker for each crit and each swirly rolled, each wild rolled. If the attacker has already targeted this character with this attack, roll six dice instead of four. Oh. That's pretty good ability, I think, that. Um, and I managed to roll, I think I got one success. You did get one crit, and we didn't know whether you should be able to re-roll that. Uh, as an exploding crit, but we decided, yeah, it probably is. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, if you do know in the comments below, do put it, do put it down. We kind of assume that if you roll in the dice and you get a crit, or any circumstances, you can re-roll it. But perhaps there, there may be circumstances where you can't. Uh, after that one, I then move on to Black Widow, and I only get one swirl against her. Yeah, and my defense dice um, were, they, were they up to yes, they were up to it. I got one defense dice too because I swirly each. So no damage there, and that's the end of Kingpin's activation. Black Widow 2 has a little ability she can do after she's been attacked called Parting Shot. After, after an attack targeting this character is resolved, this character may use this superpower. It's a two power uh, superpower again. The, attack, the attacking character suffers one damage. This character may advance away from the attacking character uh, for a distance of short, which I do which I do, do I back off up the uh, building. I decide to use uh, Kingpin's intense physical conditioning to su uh, get rid of one power and not suffer one damage. But I particularly wanted it to reposition uh, Black Widow onto the roof, so she was contesting the uh, meteor, and then I could maybe later jump She-Hulk down into the action. So I'm activating Taskmaster, he's right in the thick of it now. He's got three possible targets, but he's going to go for Fisk, and he's going to start, particularly against Fisk, with his monomic technique. So I can add the dice to the attack roll equal to the target's uh, might defense, which I believe is four. It is four, so you so get eight, eight, eight dice. dice. It's only two power as well. It's pretty, oh, pretty nifty attack, that that's is. That's nice. Your dice go your normal way though in this game. You only get a couple of successes. Yeah, that's true. 
The crit also gets you one more, so three successes. What's your defense roll up to? Oh, I managed to get one, so oh, I, I, I could take two damage there. I do, again, use his intense physical conditioning to remove one of those wounds. Yeah, and then I try and use shield throw, um, which is uh, ignores line of sight, which is quite cool. Um, but it's a four dice attack, no power, but uh, Taskmaster throws a shield. Four successes there. It's pretty brutal. So I've got yeah. four defense dice, but I don't save any. And that is enough to take Kingpin down already. He's taken Kingpin seven out, wounds. And I pop the uh, token he was holding back right next to Mick Fury there. He's hiding behind the uh, building. Now I did cheat then because I ricocheted the shield and I should only have ricocheted the shield if I got a swirl. So I then had another attack on old Crossbones. I've got again. three successes. Pretty nasty. Yeah. I do get saved two so of yeah, them. Fortunately you've got a couple of defenses. It wasn't too bad, but it was one more wound of Crossbones. I then decide to activate Electra and jump her down off of the heli carrier to start having a punch up with um, Taskmaster. Uh, I decide I'm going to use her Ancient Throwing Blades and play my Cruel Tutelage card at this point, which for one energy gives me three extra dice on the attack. Oh, but I had something up my sleeve. So what's your range of, your, of that attack? So that attack was a range three attack. Okay, but I had used the Eye in the Sky, which is one of Nick Fury's special abilities as a card. When an allied uh, character is targeted by an attack, Nick Fury may spend three power to play this card. Boo. The targeted character makes a short advance. If at the end of the advance the character is outside of the attack's uh, range or the attacker's line of sight, the attack ends. If it is the attacker's activation and the attacker did not target multiple characters, the, the attacker may make another action. But unfortunately for you, Pete, my uh, characters that were in range, because I moved Taskmaster, Taskmaster out of range, the, yep. the ones that were in range were on top of the building so you couldn't see them. Yep, they were, they were all just out of range and Electra couldn't do things, so you so managed to completely scuppered. nullify You probably could have me. moved again, actually, because you could take another action. You probably could yes, have moved. Yes, I could have moved her, yeah. Um, but yeah, completely forgot, and yeah, fluffed it up. And this even has another facet to it, this card. If your squad is using the shield affiliation, return this card to your available team tactic cards during the cleanup phase. This card may be played against, against, again this game. So that's very rare. I don't know if there are any other cards in the game because we haven't played exhaustedly with them, but that, that is an amazing ability because you could do it again. Yeah, and it can really stuff you up because you get someone just in range and then they just skip away, skip away. Skip away. So then I move She-Hulk and she, cinematic style, leaps off the building. And just crushes and Electra's breaks, skull. <laughs> breaks Electra's leg, which is sticking out. Um, and she does her sensational uppercut, which I think is one of my favourite attacks in the game. At seven dice. And it's a smashing amount and of I damage. I actually did absolutely smash actually it. do seven say. damage. Six, I think. Six damage, sorry. Six damage, yeah. I didn't, no, I didn't get anything on the reroll. I only saved one. Electra's already taken a wound, so that does daze her. You take the token. So yeah, and I popped it on top of the building up next to... Uh, Black Widow. She was obviously upcutted all the way up to the top of the building. Oh, yeah. I decided to take some revenge and I activate Crossbones next and decide to have a go at uh, Taskmaster with his strike attack. I actually did four it's damage roll. on that one. Yeah, Not a bad roll at all. I didn't get anything at all. Now I completely forgot that Taskmaster um, can count blanks as successes. So actually I would have saved two there. You would have saved uh, two. And I think that was enough to knock him out, wasn't it? It was enough. Yeah. And so I took the token off of him. Yeah. I then chucked it right on crossbones, and then I spent a power to pick that up. So straight a, pivot, away. a pivotal forgetting moment there. It was, yes. We have a few of those in this game, but people know that. <laughs> you know what you're in for when you watch this. I then decided to try an overpower attack on She Hulk, and I just get three hits in. Not too it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. I just get one defense. So two more damage on She Hulk there. Yeah. So next up, I move up. Nick Fury comes charging around the corner, stays in range of that cosmic cube. But he hasn't got any energy because he used it to do eye in the sky, so he's got no power. So he only throws two. And that's this is a crossbones. You needed me to fail at least one of these so yeah. you could get a power so that you could pick up that cube. That's exactly right. So I moved, need a power, but you got two saves, so I, did. I didn't get to pick up the power, uh, pick up the cube, because uh, I, I generated no power. So that was not a very well coordinated uh, mission from the leader there. Nick did not do well in that situation. No, and then you. You know, he was just standing there thinking, what the... What could possibly go wrong? What happened there? And Shadow Lands comes up. Yep, I move him up and I decide to make a coordinated strike against him. I and get this is a very successful coordinated yeah. strike. Five initial hits and two crits, which is quite brutal. Three crits there were there. Three crits, sorry, yep. And one, one more, so that's six. Six hits. If I don't make any saves, you'll kill him. One. One. Two. So you take four damage. I've got two left. So at this point, I decide, right, I'm going to bring in the Hand Ninjas. We haven't seen the Grunts in action yet, so I summon the Hand Ninja Grunts. 
And uh, once they are placed, they can then make a ninja weapon attack as soon as they appear. So again, uh, unload on Nick Fury. And Nick Fury, I think, feels like his card is marked. Yeah, he's his only days got two are done. Left. But I only roll one hit there, which did not really no, help. Because I, mean, I, I was going to survive whatever happened, but I actually rolled two crits. And smashed it completely. Yeah. At this point, I then decided to use another one of my cards, my Shuriken Arashi, which is um, one for Daredevil. And basically, uh, I spend two power, and he can use this card if I have some hand ninjas within range, which I do. Uh, I make the attack, but before I make the attack, you can move the target short. And you I mean decide... you do. This has become my, my MO for this game. <laughs> My person leaps onto the building in a single bound. To the top of the building, <laughs> go! So he jumps onto the top of the building, and I decide, right, well, I've got to make the attack anyway, so I only get five dice now. And I get one. Oh. And then I save one. You save one. You yeah. take one damage, I did two damage. Yeah. Uh, so one more on him. He's got one wound left still. So I think we both decide to leave. I leave Black Widow where she is. And, and I leave Sabretooth. Sabretooth. They don't do anything because they're contesting things. So I bring up Iron Man who's going to come up and try and contest the uh, Meteor Fragment. And again, we kind of got the rules a little bit wrong and I didn't roll the dice to see whether I actually took control of it. I just kind of assumed I did. So we, we, we made a mistake there. Yeah, I don't think it's a massive problem in the grand scheme of things. You only need one success. Yeah, that is true. I mean, there's the outside chance I might have got some damage. Uh, but anyway, so Iron Man does use his Repulsor Blast and he uses Friday AI, got Friday on his mind, and uh, I got extra, two extra dice, and so I only got one success. Yeah. Uh, Daredevil is like a ninja, literally. Literally, and figuratively. Uh, and he counts blanks as successes against attacks. So I rolled three successes and stop it completely. Okay, that was a great, great reply for blast. End of round two, what are the scores, Robin? The scores, Peter, are six to me and four to you. Boo. I think he's making this up. He's got control I don't know, I've, got, I've just, I just, just, oh, there's counters oh, on the air. Everywhere. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't put, I haven't, we're not counting the rounds, it's round See, two. Yes, round round two. two. So I, I feel like, I mean, that was a brutal round. You took two of my guys out and I took one of yours yeah, out. Yeah, and you nearly, nearly, nearly killed Nick Fury as well. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to go after Nick Fury, I think, next time with everything I've got, but... Uh, He's up on the building, hiding. <laughs> hiding, get away from me. But it's a case of getting hold of... The, I think the meteors are the key. If you haven't got two meteors, yeah. you cannot, you just can't do it. So anyway, on to round three, I guess. Bing, 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 bing. So I activate first and I decide to go with Electra to try and take down that big green meanie with a ancient throwing blade attack onto She-Hulk. Should have used a nice new throwing blade. Yeah, it probably would have done a lot better. But I do get two successes. And I roll zero defenses, so that's a couple of wounds. And also a couple of energy, which is always worrying. Powering up the She-Hulk. Yes. Arr. I then decide to uh, bring the hand ninjas back into play again. And as soon as they appear, they can make a ninja weapon attack, which they do against She-Hulk again. Uh, this time they get to two successes. Two successes, and I continue my good honor. I do actually roll well there. I, I got two successes to defend that. Yeah. Uh, I then decide to use Electra's second action to do her impale attack, which is great because when she's near some hand ninjas, she gets two extra dice on this, giving her 10 dice in total. It's, it's an eight dice attack anyway. It's an you eight dice extra attack two anyway, two yeah. dice. It's, but it is five energy. Yeah, again, that. So when, you, when you said it's five power, I was like, oh my goodness me, what's coming my way? Yeah, but four hits or four damage, I roll the crit and get nothing I extra. I think you could have could have hoped for a better roll there. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but I didn't actually roll any, despite you trying to roll a shield for me, I didn't actually roll any successes. So no. it was three damage, which is probably, probably about right, I would say. It's uh, four damage. Oh, was it four? Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I can then move her because the impaled attack allows her to move uh, medium. So I do move her short, jump up onto the top of the building. I then spend one token to steal the cosmic cube and then I spend another to try and contest the meteor. I roll a crit and a success and then roll the crit and get nothing extra. And I should have claimed it at this point, but for some reason I thought that I hadn't rolled two successes. So at this stage in the game, we still thought that you had control of two of the meteor fragments. So you had rolled had two. One. You needed to have two, and you did roll two. I did, so yes. you should have taken it off early. I should have. You kind of didn't notice that or got, got side blindsided by the crit. Yeah, didn't didn't really trigger the, uh, yeah. didn't recognise the other one, but never mind. So Nick Fury is activated and he brings in Call of the Cavalry uh, and the cavalry in this case don't have horses, but they do have rope and they come down from the helicopter. It's the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They've arrived. And it's a two power, uh, a two power power. 
And it enables the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to arrive, but it also enables them to immediately pick up an extract or uh, objective if, they, uh, if they're near within two. So they grab that, and then Fury leaps down off the building. Surprisingly, with one wound, he's got one still wound out, but he can still jump off the building, and then he uh, hurls his tactical knife at uh, Daredevil. But he must be a bit dazed, I think, because his roll, as you'll see in a second, is not the best. Ah, oh, one just crit. One crit, and you know, so he leaps down, throws it, clangs into Iron Man. Yeah, uh, ricochets off, and you just laugh just at my pathetic attempts with your three defense dice. Attacking Daredevil is quite hard because he counts blanks. Um, it makes it very diff tricky. And there's no range either on that. He always gets it, yeah. so he's, yeah, he can be quite hard to hit. I decided to activate Shadowland Daredevil to get some hits in on She-Hulk, and he jumps across to make use of the nearby hand ninjas as well. He decides to then use his Demon's Devastation, which is the three energy attack, but it gives him nine dice because of the hand ninjas being so close. You are a lot of dice. Unfortunately, oh, I don't get a lot no, of hits, although this one wasn't too bad. I did get five with two crits there, so I need to roll for them as well. Six hits Six. in total. That's pretty good. I managed to get two defense, including a crit. Two defense. So four wounds on She Hulk. I then use his um, vanish ability afterwards because I did roll a swirly uh, and I vanish him back across over to where all the action is. And you immediately cheat outrageously. Well, before that, I do then claim the meteor oh, fragment, yes. um, but I should have rolled for. And then I decide to use my Demon's Devastation attack again on Iron Man, which, yes, is a cheat. Uh, I shouldn't have been making a second attack with him because he moved first. Yeah, such a cheat. I did only get three hits in, in total, though. Uh, my crit did not yield any more. Iron Man automatically reduces it by one. And I made a save. So you only took one wound damage. Again. Could have been worse. It for could, you. could have definitely been a lot worse. Then I activate She-Hulk, but before, she's got a little trick up her sleeve, uh, which is, it's not really up her sleeve. It's a uh, it's, a heli it's, sleeves. it's a helicarrier strike. Oh, so dear. the helicarrier, which is right here, he says pointing, there's no point. Uh, it, the helicarrier, which is right here, blows into Fisk. And then anybody close to Fisk, uh, within two, takes damage and gets the incinerate condition, which I think we actually completely forgot. We did afterwards. We Crossbones and Shadowland Dead will both take a wound and both get incinerate as well as yep. Fisk taking incinerate as well. Yes. So I roll a six dice attack. Uh, I do get a Swirl, which means I can use Scorch, which gives everybody incinerate and does damage to those around. Um, but just two successes otherwise. But you didn't roll any. I didn't save any, so I do take two wounds. I then immediately use Fisk's ability to reduce that damage by one. But then She-Hulk loves being on a building, so she jumps back on top of the building and she uses her sensational uppercut, but she adds a little extra spice. She uses superior weight training to uh, add to the, the size of Electra's dice, so Electra's size two, so add another two dice, it's nine dice. And that was a pretty brutal attack say, by the counts. A, a massive attack, I think I did six successes there, I think I got one crit. Whoa. Seven in total. Seven yeah. in total. I decided at this point to use Electra's martial prowess, which gives her five defense dice, and if I don't take any damage at the end of it, you actually take two damage okay. instead. But you're not gonna, oh, you're not gonna save all those. No, I roll no. one crit. Uh, unfortunately, that's it. So you do five damage, and that is enough to turn Electra to paste. <laughs> now, at this point, whilst I should have claimed the Meteor earlier, you could very easily, have, at this point, have claimed Just, it back again. Yes, I think so. so Assuming I had power to do that, with, I probably yeah. did. So, but then you had um, you have Black Widow there as well. Oh, so yes. she could have just as easily done it on her activation in a minute. Yeah. I then activate Crossbones next and decide to have a go at Iron Man with my regular old strike attack. I only get one crit on this one. And I, nothing else. Oh, that's a crit. And I save. Absolutely smashed two it. crits, yeah. So rather dejectedly, I then decide to have a go at you Nick Fury. Push it back. I actually wonder whether you can, because in the de apply damage there, there was no damage to apply. In, in other you wouldn't be able to push him back there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether we've done that right. It does say before damage is dealt, so ah, okay. a question of whether, but, yeah. Yeah, but the no damage, no damage would be dealt. True, that's true. Yeah, I guess it's the, so, there isn't a flow chart, is there? So no, if you had a flow yeah. chart, you'd be able to see, yeah. did you get more successes? If so, go down this route, and then you'd be able to say, that's the point at which it would happen and didn't, so. I don't know, I have no yeah, idea. We have no idea. So I decided to then go after Nick Fury to try and get some recompense, because he only has one wound left on him. And again, I do a overpower attack on him too. Oh, I managed to get four initial hits, re roll the crit, so no extra. Four hits. I need to roll a lot of saves here. A lot, a lot of saves. And I do roll a couple. You get a couple, but even with the extra one, you still want to take the one wound. Yes. And that is still going to um, take you out. And you could throw him back into the building anyway. Yes. So it's all. I then it's good night, Nick Fury. I then play my No Mercy card to get three power onto Crossbones for doing that. So Iron Man stays where he is, 
and tries his best to uh, do some damage. So he starts off with a homing rocket attack. And, and he's fishing Friday for AI. a swirl to be get explosive. And he's using Friday, Friday AI as well. And actually I do get a really good roll and I get that all important swirl. Yeah, so that's five hits to start with. Five hits on Fisk, I'm aiming at Fisk. Yeah, now Fisk rolls his defense. He manages to stop one. So he takes four damage at this point. I do use his uh, intense physical conditioning once more to reduce the damage by one. And Crossbones and Shadowlands Daredevil also take a damage each from the yeah. explosive action of the home rockets. And I follow that up with a repulsor blast, but I actually do this against Crossbones. And just get one success. Uh, two successes with the swirl on, off the crit. Crossbones rolls his defense. He does manage to crit it. But nothing extra, so he does one, take one, one damage. damage. And then I do just move him back with the repulsor blast with the swirl, and enables me to move you back. I decide to activate Fisk because he, I don't think he's long for this world, and I decide to use his cane laser. First go against the grunts, and I manage two hits, one of them being a crit, but that doesn't give me any extra hits. Uh, we didn't catch the roll, but you did save one of them. So, so, one, so, they, so they, they have only rolled one dice. They've got one. Uh, and they have two wounds, so they managed to hang on. <laughs> I then attack Iron Man afterwards, and I do two hits again. My crit doesn't yield any extra. Now, I think at this point we misread his ability to reduce the damage. So at the moment you've taken two damage. Yeah, and I could have reduced that to one, but I actually somehow managed to... I think you said, oh, you've reduced that to one, then I rolled a shield, and we just completely wrote it off. Yeah. It's to a minimum of one. So you should have taken, taken one damage, damage, there, damage there, which... I mean, that probably mitigates the extra damage I did earlier That's from true. Shadowland Daredevil. Yeah. So it's it good all, how all these balance things work out. out. <laughs> I then decide to contest the objective and I... Smashed it. ...do manage that one quite nicely with no skulls and no extra damage taken. And then I decide to use my Hail to the King ability on Taskmaster. Mashing him with seven dice, which isn't too bad. I get about four successes there. I, I thought you were going to like eight successes with that dice roll. I... I just it was bad. you just got lots of symbols what they were all the successful when they're, they're so successful, yeah, yeah when there's so many uh, uh, symbols everywhere you think oh I've got loads of successes yeah uh, I then do knock you back into the lamp post as part of that attack before the damage is dealt yeah uh, so you have to defend against that one first which I don't manage pretty easy why do one yeah yes I one save yes I eradicate the damage and then um, oh and then I was a bit, a bit of a bit of a dodgy roll that but that was actually three successes because Taskmaster was within two which we measured there. Uh, he can count blanks. Yeah, if I'd have knocked you back and not gone for the lamppost, yeah, I might be you wouldn't have got away. that yeah, and you yeah. might take more damage. So that yeah. was a lesson learned. But it's not as much fun. Not as much fun, nowhere near. No. The Taskmaster has a nice little ability, which I've already used once today. I'm going to use it again. Photographic reflexes. Um, if you're within three, I can basically uh, roll four dice. And if I get a, a crit or a swirl, then um, you take damage. So I rolled four dice and got sweet. Fanny Adams. Nothing at all. So no extra damage on Kingpin, but then I activate Taskmaster, and I, first of all, shake off the stagger, which I think I got from your Kingpin attack. Yep. Um, and there was lots of toing and froing on here, I kept forgetting I had stagger and not being able to do what I wanted to do, but eventually I settled on show, throwing off the stagger and then using monomic technique, using Kingpin's bulk against him, because I can add his def target's def might defense. Yes, yeah, roll Eight brutal. dice, and that was, that was quite a nice roll. It was not a bad roll, you got four successes yeah. there with a crit. Another success, it's five successes. The Kingpin doesn't have that many wounds left, no. so I roll one defense and I only save one. Oh. So even using his intense physical conditioning, he is taken down and out. Sabretooth decides he's getting a bit bored and wants to join in the actions. He jumps down and decides to go after Ron Man with a claw slash attack. I think he would have been better going for coffee myself. I think he might have done. So I managed to get three hits here, one of them being a crit. Uh, but they do roll a swirly, which means I do get the pierce effect. Ooh. So I cancel one of your crits. So oh, yeah. you reduce it to two damage. Yeah, I did roll a crit. No, there it is. But you failed. <laughs> failed it. So there should be two damage, but you took it down to one because of yeah. your ability. And I think for a moment there I thought I was dead, but actually I wasn't. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Yeah, so I, I, and of course I would have been dead had I taken that wound earlier, but then if I hadn't taken the other one. So all oh, oh, these things balance yeah, out, but he's, 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 he's up. He's up. Just about on his last legs, Black Widow comes down off the building, I guess, and she shoots at, she can't shoot Crossbones, because uh, she can't see him, so she shoots at Shadowlands Daredevil. You did get quite a nice roll here, you get three successes with the crit. Four altogether. Four on four dice. Yeah, that's pretty good. But you are shooting at Shadowland Daredevil, who, who 
counts as uh, blank, so I get three successes there. And you rolled a crit. I rolled a crit, but unfortunately nothing extra from that, so he does take one damage. So the uh, automatic pistol attack of, of uh, Black Widow has rapid fire, which means I could shoot again. But I tactically decided not to, because both Crossbones and Shadowlands Dead Devil are on one wound, I believe. And they both have a cube. They have a cube, which means they'll take a wound. Yeah. Uh, at the start of the next, in the next, yeah, in the power step, yeah. So in the in the power step, at the beginning of the turn, they'll take a wound each and, and crash out. Yeah. So uh, I leave them as it is. End of round three, and the score's Robin R. Nine each! Oh, it's so close. It is very close. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have, I have to say, I, this game does my head in. How people play competitively all day. I, I, I don't do know. I just, I, do. I just, I'm, I don't know whether I'm just shit at games yeah. or what, but I, Probably. what do you mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, um, I just, I barely know what I'm doing. There's so much chaos yeah. and going on at the minute. I mean, I was quite disappointed that, um, that Electra is already out, but, um, and yeah. Kingpin. And Kingpin, yeah. yeah I had a good I'm, guy, I had a good round in that respect. You, you've, yeah. you, you've got a healthy saber tooth over here, which uh, is a bit of a bind. But I don't think he's going to be much use to me, but we'll find out now in round four. Round four. Beginning of round four, and I'm feeling a little beleaguered, but before anything else, uh, several people just drop dead almost. Ron Man drops down and he drops his token there, and Nick drops his other one up the top there. So everybody holding a cosmic cube basically takes a damage, and three of them are on one wound. Yeah, yeah. So this cosmic cube is just suddenly pop, pop all over the place. All over the place, they land everywhere. I then activate Sabretooth, my only character I can activate, and I run across to go and have a go at Nick Fury. At this point, I make a horrible mistake, or maybe the dice just punish me, I'm not sure which, uh, but I get, I decide to use my Savage Predator attack on him, which means I can roll seven dice. I was looking for a swirly and I didn't get it. I got four successes, I think you but played no the odds swirly. There, I mean, the chances are you get one. I was hoping so, but yes. Uh, so I do do four damage on him. You only save one, but save one. because I didn't get any swirlies, I can't do my claw slash attack, which means I can't get any extra energy back because I'd spent it all, which means I couldn't then pick up that cosmic cube fragment on the floor and I was very miffed. So uh, first thing I activate Nick Fury and again he brings in the cores of the cavalry, brings down the engines of shield, they go whoa, 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 for the helicarrier straight there onto that uh, objective there, cosmic cube, pick it up. Boop. That now puts you in, in possession of two cubes. Yes, and then I use the shield mobile um, which is an allied shield character may spend three power to play this card. The character gains the flight superpower this round and immediately advances L. So I immediately advance onto that uh, cosmic cube there next to the coffee bar. You grab that, although we didn't forget that. to we move did, We didn't board. actually pick it up, but then, I, then, I, then, I, then, then he uses the activation movement to jump onto the cosmic, uh, to the meteor fragment on top of the building. Grabs hold of it, doesn't take any damage. So gra Taskmaster grabs this one, so that ends the game. Because of the various powery bits that I have, I've got the uh, three. I've got um, the majority of the meteors. Yeah, that gives you three lots points of, and lots of cosmic cubes, which gives you another four. Yeah, which gives you seven, which takes me across the line. End of round four, Robin. What's the score? It is an amazing sixteen plays nine. Yeah. No, no, I tell a lot. No, sixteen plays nine. 16 yeah, plays nine because yeah. you've got three from holding both of the meteors. Yeah, and you've got four of the tokens. That just flipped there. I had no idea that was going to happen. I suppose it's an, that's an example of where beating down the on the opposition is. Yeah. Because uh, you taking out Electra and Kingpin. And you took out Kingpin, I think at the end of the first round, I think you'd stunned him, and Electra then, uh, yeah. both of them got taken out the second round? Or, uh, yeah, actually, I, really, I could probably get, get more because I could actually claim this yeah. for Taskmaster or Black No, not Black Widow. No, in fact, no, no, I can't because they've both got one. So I can't, I can't play that. So, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was tough. Um, I made some mistakes right at the start. I should have kept Sabretooth in the fight because he's quite nasty. Um, and also Crossbones, if I put him over on my right flank, he could have grabbed the um, the energy token over there, the the uh, the, the fragment. Uh, and if I then put um, Daredevil over on the left, he could have got to the middle and could have actually claimed that middle one earlier. So I would have uh, actually been you'd have got three, three points first ahead of the first round. But because I put him the other way round, I, yeah. It didn't work how I, I hadn't really... Yeah, I didn't have much time. speed. I don't know. I could have got to that middle bit um, where it was. Maybe if I put somebody here, She-Hulk here is probably the only way I could have got to that middle one. Possibly, yeah. Um, Possibly. But probably I put, actually put her up there to make sure I could get to that one. So I'm not sure I could have got to both because she... It's true. It was it, one by moving short, she still had the range because yeah. she's got that big base. That's true. 
battery biscuit base. Yeah. And I think that was that was the that could have been the bit that what lost it for me. Um, but yeah, Celavi, that is that is. Such yeah, I think the only other thing it possibly is you didn't choose to kill Iron Man. I tried to get them both. Yeah, yeah, and then but you could have attacked them again and taken them out, and I'd have got less points. Possibly, but I think. And I think Iron trying... Man then I think had a lucky attack. I think on Kingpin and and took load of, did a lot of damage to him. Yeah, I, I think once I'd lost two fighters, I was I was playing a, a rear guard yeah. game it's and also losing two people at the beginning of the next round. It's an interesting dynamic, that isn't it? Because yeah. you think, oh, well, I've got the victory points, uh, and you actually in a situation where I, I had the choice to shoot Daredevil. Yeah. But it's much better not to. But yeah, I mean, she could have shot. Uh, Either Daredevil or Crossbow. Well, she could only, she yeah, she could, yeah, yeah, so exactly. You want to lose them alive so they die and then are out because they die at the beginning of the turn and then they're out yes. for the turn. Yeah. And then they have Nick Fury, the, the uh, amazing shield, shield mobile, <laughs> which is this insane card. It's basically a flying car. It's, it's a, it's a great one. I like the car. fact that it's, it's, not a, um, it's not a damaging sort of a thing. Yeah. It's just a, lo a lovely little utility. And it does show that um, utility is key in this kind of game, I think, quite often. Yes. Although you managed to combine utility and clubbing my characters. Yeah, although so. ironically, if you hadn't moved, I, I suppose it wouldn't no, it wouldn't have worked out any differently. No. So if you hadn't moved Sabretooth, moved Sabretooth then, then I'd have just got this one. Yeah. So it would have been even easier. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at that point, Sabretooth, poor old Sabretooth, he was... It's like I've been so. standing over here, claiming this, and you lot have all messed up. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. The one thing I still can't quite get my head around in this game, and I think you brought up before, is that it still pays most to go after objectives and not hit people with cars and stuff like that, which is a bit Yeah, I mean, there was no throwing of anything today. I threw... Oh, you, I, threw, I threw, you threw, did throw Taskmaster. I threw Taskmaster into a, into a yeah. lamppost, and that was about it. It might be because most of the stuff we've got is near the middle. And it's all quite big today. Yeah. We've got a heli helicarrier on the pitch, for example. Yeah, um, which is fantastic. But, yeah, I don't know. I, how close is Hulk to dying in the end? Uh, she is still quite a long way off. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I think the other problem I had is that several of the cards I took um, relied on Electra. So right, Electra okay. Causing, uh, you know, putting a bounty on somebody and then taking that person out and various other things. So I possibly should have gone after someone else, but I had Hulk was the only person who I could put the initial Vendetta thing on because that was the highest threat model. So that's a tough card. I'm not sure I would take that card normally because... <gasps> You do, you're always going to be putting on someone like a Hulk or someone who's going to be quite tough to beat, I think. Yeah, I, I've got a few cards which are for, for Nick Fury, and I think maybe I've got too many because he actually didn't generate that much energy. So mm. he was like, oh, well, I can't use that one. He's yeah. got Reposition, which is a really lovely card. It spends two energy, and you can reposition him to any allied agent within oh, one, within nice. one of any allied agent, which is really cool. That's fantastic. And he's also, which I also didn't get to play, he's got Life Model Decoy. You have to spend three. You gain three life model decoy tokens. Each time he's targeted by attack, shuffle the tokens and reveal one at random. If the token has an NMD on the back, you may re-roll any, any number of the attacker's dice. Nice. <laughs> nice. But yeah, overall, I still really do love this game. I think just the aesthetic alone is, is enough mm. to keep selling me on it. It's really fun. I just... I get a bit bogged down in all the different permutations. That's the other thing for me. There's so many. You've got five characters, each with three attacks and four or five abilities often, or three or four abilities. See, I didn't have that on one. Okay. People like Crossbones and Daredevil and Sabretooth, and even Electra. They don't really have too many. There's no thrill. thrill you know, they've got maybe one or two attacks each. There's no bells and whistles. There's no right. thrills. Yeah. It's just a case of do you want to punch them or do you want to kick them? <laughs> That's kind of what I, mean, well, I, don't, I, I feel like mine aren't that different, but they just have little bits that I, I, I missed. Like you pointed out to me at one point that Iron Man was reducing, reducing the damage, and I completely yeah. missed that. Uh, he'd have been dead if you hadn't pointed that out. I, I, it's, <laughs> it's a sad indictment of our ability that mm. we only have five models and we're still sitting there going, oh, too much! Too I, yeah, much. I think it's just my age. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's also because I, I'm one of those people who gets, get into the heat of it. Like you said, just asked me how much damage she hold took, and I'm not sure I've put enough tokens on her. <laughs> now, looking at, lo looking at it. Well, <laughs> she wasn't dead. Yeah. I know that. But I also have a feeling that maybe you did an attack towards the end and it actually didn't, you weren't very lucky. So yeah, I think maybe possibly, I thought possibly. you were going to do a load of damage and you didn't. I definitely feel like having all the data on the card yeah. and getting rid of the tokens would make the game much easier to follow. I, I'm amazed there isn't a tracking app for it. 
Yeah, anybody out there, if you have a project <laughs> that works on both iPhone and Android... <laughs> just do uh, that for free, do please. Do that, and you will have at least two customers. Because I just feel like it just, it's begging for it. You know it what is. I mean? It's like, put, put your attack in. You literally you swipe through to your character, yeah, yeah. I'm going to add two damage, I'm going to add two energy, yeah. I'm going to add the fire ability or yeah. whatever. And then every time I come to that card, it's going to just pop up all yeah. the different details I need to remember. It'll go pop and it'll do... It'll, That's what makes yeah. most games... Get yeah. onto it because whilst we all like tokens, actually, when you get into it, it's a pain in the neck. For, especially for us old people. I mean, we've been playing. Mm -hmm. People play these games uh, in like many times in the day. How long have we been playing? We started about nine o'clock. So we've been having two hours, two twenty hours. minutes. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably cut down to like yeah. forty minutes or something like. That. But there's a lot of back and forth. What do I do? A lot of thinking. Ooh. Yeah. But if I think if you could get it on an iPad or your phone screen, so like you can just swipe through and go. Oh, I want this one. Oh, I'll do that one. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. The heroes have succeeded. Yeah, we've got no envelopes today because it Fury, wasn't the Nick Fury's team. He has sorted things out and he has made sure that the criminal syndicate did not get to reap some rewards whilst the scrolls were out causing havoc. Excellent. Which is one small win for the heroes in the book Grand Skin. Yeah, because the scrolls are up, they're pu pushing them hard. They are, they have won both of the other games so far. So, so it'll be interesting to see what happens yeah. next time round. We'll be back with a regular narrative game. Yep. Uh, I think I'm bringing in Gambit for the next game. And I might be bringing someone who maybe likes to smash things. Oh, I'm going to have a Hulk off. Oh. So we'll see you soon in Marvel Crisis Protocol Universe. Bye.